Hi guys and girls, I'm Doug the Beard Spence and today I'm joined by Mudsicle and the Mudsicle Machines. And we're working right now on the monkey bars. And the monkey bars, they're definitely a tough one, but what we wanted to do today is to show that although these guys have lots of experience, they're predominantly runners, very good runners, and sometimes the monkey bars can be quite intimidating. And so what we want to do is to show these girls and you guys and girls at home that actually with the right technique, it doesn't have to be all brute force. Now, video worth watching beforehand is the rings. There's a lot we can take from that. And if you've got the strength to do the rings, you easily have the strength to be able to do the monkey bars. So with the monkey bars, they're actually very similar to the rings. And we want to adopt a lot of what we've learned from that. So the idea of having that same rule of not getting stuck under one bar, that's crucial to avoid that. If we're between two bars, then we can use the three principles of if you let go, you're pretty much all of the way there. By incorporating the backswing, it'll get you there. And by rotating, clearly you're going to move on to the next ring. It's not essential to drop the back shoulder like it is with the rings. Uh, you'll find that you have to keep your hand actually much higher. And that should work really well for you. So turning in, backswing, swing, backswing, swing, backswing. So bring your hands. This way. That's it. Because then you're going to travel in a straight line. If your hands are off it, you're going to start to meander. So try and just stop for a second. <laughs> okay. Hips back. And let's swing through. Yeah. Hips. Let the swing happen. Yeah. What's that? And so what I meant by when your hands are like this angle, you'll start to do this. Yeah. And you're adding more energy to try and manage. So you're trying to go as straight as possible. So straighten the hands up. So left hand forward, that's it. Okay. So lose all your momentum. Okay, now create your momentum. It's back. Nice, Claire, nice. That's a smile, but it's determined. That's what we're looking for. So with the monkey bars on wet days, it's a good tactic, a good backup tactic is to match. And match means hands on the same bar. So with the other technique we've just shown you, we're trying to alternate on bars because that's quicker, it's more fluid. With matching, it's a rainy day option. So when we're in here and we're moving, what I would do is I would still swing and I'd match to this one and lead through my stronger hand and I'd match through and come back to the same ring. And I'd lead through and I'd come back with the same ring. And it just gives you a lot more grip options. So that's monkey bars for you. Again, we're trying to adopt lots of straight arm technique, lots of hip, not getting isolated on one bar, but we then have the rainy day technique as a backup which is to match. What do we think, girls? Does that make it much easier? Yeah. Perfect. Do we think with a bit of time that anybody could master something like that? Yeah. yeah. Good. It's not a... Perfect. That's what we're looking for. It's about technique, not strength. Lots of confidence, lots of drive, lots of confidence. That's what we're looking for.